What's up fam, this your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. NBA Youngboy just posted a photo on Instagram that got his fans scared as hell. They are worried about his mental health, they are worried about his well-being, and some fans are even claiming that his life is in danger. I'm not one of those people. I seen the photo. I immediately knew it was fake. I immediately knew it was staged. I immediately knew that NBA Youngboy was clout chasing. He posted that photo just to get people talking and just to get people attention. We all seen the photo. It looked fake as hell. NBA Youngboy laying on the ground. He got a cup of syrup standing right beside him. He got pills spread across the floor. And he laying on the ground like he a damn model with his eyes rolling in the back of his head. It looked like a fake ass crime scene photo. We all seen it. Ain't nothing real about that photo. Now I get that some real people that suffering from addiction. I get it some real people that's addicted to narcotics. They ain't doing this type of stuff. I don't feel bad for NBA young boy. We fall for it every time. Every time he do something crazy on the internet, we start sympathizing with him. We start making excuses with him. We start talking about depression. If he's depressed, get help. You got the money. You got the means, and you on house arrest, so you got a lot of time on your hands. What about the people who's depressed that can't afford a clinic? What about people that's depressed that's doing crime just to survive? Those are the people I feel sorry for. I don't feel bad for NBA Youngboy. I'm going to show you guys the photo, and you're going to see why I'm saying this. Let's take a look at this photo. Let's break it down. Boom! That's the photo that NBA Youngboy posted on his Instagram page. He's laying on the ground. He got his jewelry on. His hair is combed. He got a cup of syrup beside him. Peels spread across the floor. Eyes rolling in the back of his head. And I'm like, bruh, you going that far with the cloud chase? Are you trying to promote a single? Are you trying to promote an album? Because I'm looking at the photo, it don't even look real. You got your hair combed. You got your jewelry on, you shining. And then you have to have somebody take the photo. So I'm like, damn, who took the photo? Who told you this was a good idea? Who had you lay your ass on that carpet? Who had you put that sir right beside you? Who have you spread those pills across the ground and say, you know what, I'm going to take this photo for you, and then we're going to post it on your Instagram. See, that's the problem when you have yes men around you. Sometimes you need a friend that's going to tell you, man, it's a bad idea. And man, young boy, you tripping. Get your ass off that damn floor. And put them pills back in that damn body. You look crazy as hell. That's what you need a friend to say. But clearly the friend didn't do this. Clearly the friend went on with the bad idea. And Ain't Bad Young Boy posted this. He's going in sympathy right now. Everybody said, oh, NBA Young Boy is going through it. I'm like, bruh, it's real people that got real problems. I don't feel bad for NBA Young Boy. You don't look depressed to me. You like a nigga that's shining. I done seen a dude who was depressed. He ain't washing his ass. He go days without washing his ass. Anybody, you don't look like he washed his ass in that photo. Shirt crispy. Jewelry shining. You ain't depressed. Get your ass off that damn floor. That's how I feel about it. Because I come from the hood, man. I come from a certain area. I seen addiction up close and personal. I'm not telling you what I hear. I'm not telling you what I think. I'm telling you what I know. And if NBA Youngboy feels the need to post this type of photo, then do the right thing and go get help. Because there's no excuse why you ain't got your ass in the clinic. There's no excuse why you're not going to therapy. So I can only look at this photo and say, NBA Youngboy made the list of rappers that fell off and everybody agreed. Everybody said the music not really the same. Everybody is Team Dirk right now. And everybody is on unison that NBA Youngboy is not the same rapper. So I'm guessing he's trying to promote an album. I guess he might be trying to promote a single. And this is what he does to get people talking about him. Which I think is very sad. Because look at the imagery. He's laying on the ground. Cup of syrup right beside him. Peels all on the floor. Eyes rolling in the back of his head. What about the kids that's watching NBA Young Boy? What about the kids that look up to NBA Young Boy? Because I'm here to say, no matter how we feel about NBA Young Boy, we can say he's a gangster. We can say he's bad for rap. He don't put out good imagery. The fact still remains that Trujan looks up to him. And not only kids, you got grown ass men looking up to NBA Youngboy. Niggas in their 40s and 50s quick to tell you how much NBA Youngboy influenced them. Man, that young nigga give me hope, man. 
<laughs> man, that young nigga got me through some tough times. I'm like, nigga, is you crazy? He man, your boy, what, 22, 23? How you 40 looking up to a 22-year-old? You should have been and got your stuff together. So NBA, your boy has a big influence on people. So I'm saying he should be careful about putting this imagery out, especially when it's fake, especially when you're just trying to clout chase. Because after you posted this photo, I was watching your Instagram page. You started posting everything else like it was just normal. You dancing on cars. You listening to music. So this photo could have been that serious. You couldn't have been in that dire need of a situation Cause when I first seen the photo I'm like dang this is real serious And then I started analyzing the photo I'm like yeah this cloud chasing man He doing this for attention Cause he know we gonna talk about it And let me issue out this PSA to all rappers The double cup of lean is no longer cool I know at one point in time Lil Wayne made it hot to sip lean He always promoted it Every time you seen him he had a double cup of lean in his hand We ain't feeling that no more That's junkie behavior we call that dope fiend stuff. So we ain't rocking with that no more. And same with pills. Y'all talking about popping perks. I'm doing this pill. I'm doing that pill. Fentanyl is real. People is dying at rapid rates. So NBA Youngboy took the worst of society and put it all in one picture. He took the lean, put it in the pic. He took the pills, put it in the pic. And it shows he's under the influence because his eyes is literally rolling in the back of his head. And I don't know what NBA Youngboy is going through. He always looks unhappy in interviews. He always saying weird stuff. And he always playing the victim. NBA Youngboy always making it seem like people is out to get him. People is twisting his words. Don't nobody like him. And he gets away with this type of stuff because none of his fans ever hold him accountable. Every time he does something stupid, every time he says something suspect, don't nobody ever hold his feet to the fire. Don't nobody ever make him own up to his mistakes. He never issues an apology. Because I'm looking at this photo, I think young boy should remove it, and I think he should issue a real apology. And I don't want no written statement. Get your ass on camera and issue an apology to all the addicts out there. Because this imagery is very dangerous. I can't stress that enough. And EBA Young Boy, you already on house arrest. You already w waiting to go to trial. You know you don't supposed to be having no drugs around you. I don't care if them drugs prescribed to you. What about the double cup? That's just a bad image you put out. When you know you fighting for your freedom. You know you fighting for your life. You know you got fans that look up to you and you still chose to hit sin on Instagram. And I'm looking at Instagram. Why is this photo still up? Y'all delete everything else. Y'all delete other people photos y'all to leave posts about videos and this and that but when ebay young boy posts this photo it stays on the internet peel scattered eyes rolling in the back of the head this is the type of photo i won't delete it so i'm looking at instagram like what's going on and now that i think about it i must wonder is ebay young boy having money problems because we seen floyd mayweather his rolls royce he had a suitcase full of money he was counting the money and he said hey ebay young boy i'm on my way to give you this so I'm saying, E-Man, hey, young boy had to borrow money from Floyd? Is he finna put out an album and say, man, I really need some money. I really need to sell these units. So I'm gonna put out this photo to get people talking and get people back interested in me. Because I'm gonna be honest, that you did that million dollars worth of game interview, which was a disaster. You went on bootleg Kev. Your interviews are not interesting. And everybody's finding out you're not that interested. No matter how you try to make it seem. No matter how mystique you try to be. You're just not that interesting, dude. So I think E-Man, young boy is kind of feeling the pressure. He's trying to do anything he can to stay relevant, to get people talking. Every time we forget about NBA Youngboy and start talking about something else, NBA Youngboy goes on a rant. He's dissing his baby mamas, and then he posts this photo on um, IG. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this very cryptic photo that NBA Youngboy posted on IG. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Leave a comment. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.